Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang if on they... two seconds, Matt. OK, Devon, Aidan's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aidan pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary.
the fuel remaining. Okay, you're in the top 10. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps.
started the final lap of the race. Final lap. got one lap of fuel remaining. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own team. Well, a good race out there again today, Aidan. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. I mean, look, these things happen. Sometimes you're so focused on driving that little things can slip through the net. I'm sure we'll find out more at the debrief. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old... <laughs> no, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connors a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So, issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Uh, it was a good result, for sure. Uh, but to be honest, Natalie, there's, there's always room for improvement. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be studying all, the, all of the race footage and looking for new opportunities. The team will be doing the same with the car, I'm, I'm sure. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those... Well, yeah, there was, there was no issues this race, um, so things are definitely looking up in that regard. Uh, I'm confident the team have got it in hand, and today proved it. There's always room for improvement, but little by little, step by step. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you 
to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. About Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Could you take a look at this, please? Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. <laughs> 